start verbs, and we're going to be going over certain kinds of verbs for the next few weeks, right? Yes. What did we do yesterday? What kind of verbs? Action verbs. Action verbs. So that's anything you can do. Do. Today, we're going to go over helping verbs. Helping verbs. Helping verbs. Read these together. Main verbs and helping verbs. Read right here. Some verbs are more than one word. The main verb is the most important verb. So what's the main verb? The most important word. The what? The most important word. One more time. The most important verb. That's what? The most important verb. That's your main verb. So everybody should know what your main verb is. The helping verb comes before the main verb. So when does my helping verb come? Before the main verb. And my main verb is what? The most important verb. All right. So let's look at this example. I am looking for fairy tale books at the library. My helping verb is am. am. And what am I doing? Looking. looking. So my action or what I'm doing that's my main verb. Does that make sense? Your main verb is going to be what you do, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to label it just like this. I'm going to label my helping verb and my main verb. So let's look at number one. I am walking to the library with my friend Chen. What is my main verb? Walking. Walking. What's my helping verb? And. Good job. We are carrying our backpacks. What are my two verbs in that sentence? Are carrying. Which one's my helping verb? Are. Which one's my main verb? Carrying. We will take home three books each. What are my two verbs? Take with me. Take will take. Which one's my helping? Will. will. Main? Take. take. Does this seem very hard? No. no. I didn't think so. I thought y'all would get it really quick. Chin has asked the librarian for help. Has asked. Has asked. Has asked. Main, what's my main? That's what I'm doing. Good job. What's my helping? So do we get this? Yes. Okay. Now we're going to show you a video. Now the song is a little eh, but it gives you a great visual because your um, main verb and your helping verb are two different colors. You'll see. What is it? Your main verb is blue and your helping verb is red.
three. So Will, shall and can Then you have would, could, and should. Those were spelling words. Would, could, should. And then on this one, we're going to put three of them just so we know we have enough room. Put is, comma, are, comma, and then am. Put those on one line since they're smaller. And then we have was. Were, put those on the same line, was and were. Make sure you have a comma between them. And then on the same line you can put B, B E, comma, and B. Need to go up or down? Everybody got it? Okay, so everybody go up to the top. Above all of these, put HV for helping verb. HV for helping verb. And then over here, put MV for main verb. And then write go under main verb. Example sentences of how we how these two verbs work together, how our helping verb and our main verb work together to give us a good sentence. So I do go to the store every Saturday. Can you go? You can go places, right? I did go to the store last Saturday. I have gone to the store. Right? I can't use go with gone. I mean, go with have, right? You have to change your tense. I had to go, or I, how would, how would you put that, Ms. Kessler? It's gone. Oh, yes. I had gone to the store. That's right. I shall go to the store. I can go to the store. Does everybody see how your helping verb and your main verb work together? I must go to the store. What would we say for my? Might I might go to the store. If you have nothing in your refrigerator, I should go to the store. So that's how your helping verb and your main verb work together. And usually your main verb, I mean your helping verb is going to be in front of that main verb. Because your main verb is what? 
the most and your helping verb comes before the main verb. Alright, so if you have all of that copy, you can close it.
to number seven.
Number 11. Let's do number 9. She had worried about the mess. So, what do you say on circle, Mallory? Uh, That's my helping verb. That's my main verb. Okay, everyone will bring a change of clothes. Number five. Uh, circle. Good job. Will is your helping verb, and then bring is your main verb. So does everybody understand this? <coughs> okay, so for this one, I'm going to let you finish this one independently. And when you're done, raise your hand, and Miss Kessler or myself will come check it. But listen, mark out these instructions. We're going to do the same thing we did on the back. You're going to circle your helping verb and underline your main verb, just like we did on the back, okay? So let's do number one, and then I'll let you go. People in India are playing snakes and ladders. What are my two verbs? Are playing. Which one of those is circled because it's my helping verb? Oh, Which one of those is underlined because it's my main verb? Perfect. That's how I want you to do it. And then when you're finished, you can start on KK.3 main and helping verbs. But before you do that, I want to check it. Dotting it, we're only looking for two. We're only doing two, two verbs that are in each of those. Are you already done? All right. Okay. We'll go ahead and get started on KK three.